but uh, welcome guys welcome guys so this video let's talk about a uh, uh, very famous theorem or not maybe not so famous right but the uh, famous result in the uh, uh, grid algebra abstract algebra and group theory uh, so the theorem is say that uh, so everybody knows about a5 right so alternating group with the uh, five symbols but they only take the even permutation so the famous result is that a5 is then the simplest non-abelian simple group Okay, so the theorems, this theorem says that if G is order 60 and G is simple, then we can prove that G is isomorphic A5. So what's talking is that the order 60 uh, non-abelian simple group uh, must be A5. Okay, uh, before I start, uh, before I start uh, subscribe to my channel. Okay, Okay, so uh, if you have not yet seen my previous video, I will leave the comment below. So in the previous video, I proved that uh, uh, I proved that uh, there are uh, 60 60 uh, from 1 to 59 they, they cannot all be simple right so uh, they, they cannot be simple so we proved that uh, 60 right 60 is uh, the possibility has a possibility that uh, there is a simple group which is not abelian so in this video we proved that uh, that guy must be a5 okay so we are the assumption is that we assume that a5 is already simple okay so let's do a proof so the proof I already write down all the details okay so I just use the my mouse and uh, follow step by step. And if you, and if you, uh, you have any question, just subscribe. Uh, just click the like button and uh, leave the comment below. I will uh, try to answer you as quick as possible. Okay, so the idea is zero theorem, right? So we know that uh, if you don't see your theorem, I have a proof video. Okay, so G is 60, 4 times uh, 3 times 5, right? So uh, let's provide a lemma. Lemma says that if you have a subgroup, uh, not need to be normal, then the index is defined to be G quotient 5. If G is simple, then uh, this this guy must be greater or equal to five. The reason is that uh, uh, the reason is that uh, uh, we have a group G act on the call set, right? Uh, G quotient H. So there will be produce a homomorphism from G to symmetry G quotient H, uh, which is uh, isomorphic to symmetric group of G uh, index H, right? And then we are assuming that G is sixty and G is simple, right? So G is simple and also this kernel phi is a subgroup H, right? So it's subgroup is uh diff definitely if it's definitely different from G, then uh since G is simple, so the kernel right must be identity. So this means that G is a subgroup of this symmetric group G uh index H, right? But this is a subgroup, right? So the order of G must be equal less or equal to uh, less or equal to G index H factorial. And then G is 60, right? So the G H index must greater to 5 because 4 factorial is 24, 5 factorial is 120. Okay, so this is a lemma that we will use, uh, which is uh, interesting. Okay, okay, so let's go to a second step. Okay, so the second step is very strange that uh, we want to uh, investigate the zero 2 group. So let n2 g to be that n2, right? I call it n2 to be zero to a uh, 2 zero zero 2 group, 2 zero group, which is order 4. Right, so by definition, n2, by the zero theorem, n2 is basically uh, divides 15 and n2 is 1 mod 2, right? So n2 can have 1, 3, 5, 15. Okay, so n2 cannot be 1, right? If n2 is 1, then the n2 is normal, right? But g is simple, so they cannot be have non trivial normal subgroup. Okay, so n2 cannot be 1. And I claim that n2 cannot be 3, right? Because if n2 is 3, then the g index with 3, right, will be 20. Uh oh sorry. Uh wait. So if n2 is three, right, then this guy is three. Well less than five, right? But I claim that, that by lemma I should go to equal to five. So n2 must be five or fifteen. Okay. N2 must be five or fifteen. Okay, so let's assume that n2 is five. So if n2 is five, then by the lemma right, we will have homomorphism from G to symmetric group index, right? G uh, H, right? So now H is a normalizer of the uh, original zero two group. So we know that index is five, right? By definition, uh, by this n two g is five. We know the index is five. So symmetric g quotient n g p will be S five. So that means our group order sixty is a subgroup of S five, and then they must be they they are not the same, right? Because S five S five were one twenty g has sixty, right? So g is a subgroup of S five. Right, but we know that, but we know what? We know that the G and S5, they are both subgroup of S5. And, uh, 
And then we know that the index two subgroup must be normal, right? So G and S5, uh, a, G and A5 must all be normal in S5. But if this is the case, then G intersection A5 must be in the G, right? And G, G intersection A5 in G must normal in G. And the G intersection A5 must normal in A5. Because uh, they are all normal subgroup of, of S5, right? So uh, by the way, they are simple, right? So G and A5 are both simple. So other, so there are two cases. One is that G intersection A5 must be G, or G intersection A5 is identity, okay? Okay, so let's say G intersection A5 is G, right? But this is symmetric. So if G intersection A5 is G, that means G intersection A5 can, must be A5. Right? So G is A5, because they all have the number of the, the same order, they have 60, or they all have 60 atoms. Okay, but, but there is an, but how about G intersection A5 is identity, right? This is impossible. Let's say this is identity, and you have A5, this is uh, G, right? So A5 already contains all the even permutation, right? But if so if G intersection A5 is identity, then G must contains uh, uh, like G must contains at least two odd permutation. Let's call it alpha beta, right? But if you compute the two odd odd permutation composition, they become A5, right? So that means G is not a group, right? Because you take a, a two elements in G and you product them, and then they, they be, become outside of G. Okay, so this show that uh, this, the case two is impossible, right? So the case one must be correct. So G must be A5, right? Or G isomorphic to A5. Okay, so this is a, a easy case. Okay, so okay, so you see, uh, in order to uh, proceed our proof, all we need to prove is that uh, G must be a subgroup of S5. Then this enough, right? So basically, we all, we all need this homomorphism. So basically, all we need to prove is that uh, there is an index five subgroup in a G. Then the, if this is true, then almost we are done. Okay. Okay. So the next case is that uh, we have n two g is fifteen. Basically, we have fifteen C O two group. Okay. So this is the final case. Uh. Yeah. So don't worry. The proof is uh, somewhat longer, but uh, I will do it step by step. Okay. So if n two g is fifteen, that means we have what? Right. We have a fifteen two C O group. Right. Each C O group has order four. Okay. So I claim, I claim there exist the two serial group P1, P2, they are different, they have order four, and their intersection is two. Okay, so what I what I want to say is that uh, at least the two non-trivial serial group has non, at, at least the two serial group, they are different, they have a non-trivial intersection. Okay, the reason is that if not, if not, that means that these 15 serial group, they are all distinct, and they, then each, and they have only trivial intersection. Then what? Then by then we will have identity right plus four minus one. So four minus one means identity times fifteen forty six. So that means this fifteen zero, uh, zero group already cover forty six element in a group, right? So we have for uh we have fourteen element left, right? But uh, by definition we we must have zero three and zero five, right? Because zero zero and zero that zero group must exist. Okay, so let's call the number of zero three is x. The number of zero five is y. So let x is one mark three, then and also x must divide it by uh, is divide twenty. So x can be one four ten, and y must be one mark four, and y div uh, y uh, also divides twelve, and one can so y can be one and six. But by definition, right, the rest uh, you only have fourteen elements. So you only ha you have one minus x plus five minus one y equals fourteen, right? So x plus two y must be seven seven. And then you can check all this combination, and you you will say that oh, there's impossible. <laughs> you can check all the combination. It, it, and also x y cannot be one, right? If x one is one, then g cannot be simple. So you can check all the combination, and you will find that there is no way that it can be seven. So that means, uh, at least the two C low subgroup has non-trivial intersection, and uh, they cannot intersection to be four, right? Because if their intersection to be four, then p one will be a p two because they have order four. Okay. So uh, we prove claim. Okay. So now uh, let's go to the final. So we know that there exists a P1, P2, they have order four and the P1 intersection P2 is two. Okay, so let A to be the group generated by P1 and P2, right? So basically you take P1 and P2 element and you just multiply and uh, do whatever you want. And uh, the largest group A, okay? Okay, by the way, A is a subgroup of G, right? By definition. And A also, uh, and P1, P2 also subgroup of A, right? So by definition, four divides A. Right? And the G is simple, right? So A will be less or equal to 12. And also A divides 60 because A is a subgroup. Okay, so if A is 4, then uh, P1, P2, uh, because if A is 4, what? Mean, mean, means that uh, P1 is the same as P2 as A, right? And uh, if it, so if, 
P1 and P2 are A, they have the same order, right? So the error, error intersection uh, will be four, right? Because they are the same, right? If 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 I use if P1 and P2 they are they generate they, if P1 and P2 they are both four uh, order four and then they generate the same group, that's A. A is order four. That means P1 and P2 must be the same, right? Otherwise, that it should be uh, some new element in A. Okay, but A cannot be eight, right? Uh, A cannot be eight, right? Because it's A did not divide sixty. Okay. So the only case is that a must be twelve, right? Because by the by the uh, uh, illustrate all the case, right? So uh, combining three case, right? I I uh we only have one answer. It's twelve, right? There's no way. So but this is the answer, right? Because a is the twelve means that uh, a is the group with index five, right? So we I have the non-trivial homomorphism from G to symmetric G coach a and G a is five by index, right? So G uh also G is simple, so G must be a subgroup S5. So we have the same argument as number one, okay? So we prove that uh, the original results. Okay, so our next video, uh, we will prove that uh, AN is simple. I just show it step by step. Then uh, then probably we finish with all the group theory. I think the group theory, the undergraduate group theory, uh, I mean, all these just, uh, these theorems are already uh, difficult in non in non undergrad, so I just make a video. And if you think this proof has some caveats or something that I should make clear, or I say something wrong, then subscribe to my and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, leave a comment and click like button. And I will reply you as soon as possible.